Hey, greetings everyone, it's Joe. Welcome to my Four C's to a Stronger Heart session for Wednesday, June the 7th. Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday morning. Here in the Northeast, we have a little bit of a challenge in front of us, something that is making us all suffer just a little bit. We had some fires apparently that were pretty bad in Canada. The wind has blown down those particles into where we live here in North Jersey and many other parts of the country. And the air quality is pretty bad and you could feel it out there. You could feel it in your throat and in your eyes and it's certainly not a good thing. What it does is it reminds us that we truly share challenges together in this world, whether we realize it or not. Yes, this one, kind of like the pandemic, is the same for all of us, but each individual is sitting with a certain amount of personal challenges. They may be a little bit different than the person next to them or the animal next to them, but they are challenges nonetheless, and they do connect us. They connect us if we choose for them to connect us, or they could divide us, or they could leave us with ambivalence. We have that choice, and the choice we make determines our level of compassion. See, the word compassion truly means to suffer with. Suffering is not a word we like to use. It's a word we like to avoid, but as we just said, it is a reality. We all have situations of suffering, and it does connect us because we all share some form of suffering every day. The challenge put before each one of us is whether we are going to connect and suffer with people and find the value in it. Yes, the value in it. You all remember my Shelby. Shelby was abused, abandoned, more than likely used as a bait dog, but Shelby knew what suffering was all about and she knew how to connect with others. In connecting with others, she was able to offer compassion. And that's why she did it so well, because she identified with others. She didn't need to know what that suffering was. She didn't need to understand it. She just needed to understand that each individual she came in contact with was suffering in some way, whether it be small today and large tomorrow, or whatever it could be or was. She took that and she took it into a way of life, a way of life called compassion. She focused on the other individual. She sat there. She didn't need to say anything. She just needed to be there with love respect and compassion towards the other individual. Shelby truly knew what compassion meant to suffer with. Each of us has the same opportunity to do that. And I submit that this is one of the most important things we can latch on to, one of the important things we can do, not only to make this world a better place, but to make the heart that beats within us stronger and more peaceful. So my friends, I have a little bit of a idea for us to share today. It's to go out and each individual you come in contact with, regardless who they are, regardless what the connection is, connect with their suffering and challenges. You don't need to know what they are. You just need to know that they're having them. And then Whatever act it is, a smile, a gaze, whatever it is, offer your compassion. I'd like you to try to do that today, and then I'd love you to get back to me here on the page and share with me just how it felt. Did it work? Were you feeling it? Were you feeling the compassion? Were you feeling the strength in your heart? That's a rhetorical question. You will. Just tell me how much. Well, my friends, that's my message for us today. As always, I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you can take it out today of all days and really put it into practice. Feel the compassion for yourself and towards others. 
Have a wonderful Wednesday, everyone, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care.